you have a talent for singing, but the only thing you do is sing in the shower. Or maybe you're a singer who joined the church choir and there is something that comes out of that. You bless a bunch of people. Or you go on and take that talent to the stage and you cut some records and you really get massive outflow, lots of people listening to your stuff. The same talent utilized in different ways. And if you're a Christian, I'm going to use this analogy to encourage you to consider becoming a profitable steward. Hi, Trudy Behrman here of TrudyBehrman.com, host of Debt Free Wealth Radio, CEO of Profitable Stewardship Inc. What exactly is a steward? A steward is, of course, a manager, someone who has been entrusted with somebody else's business. And ideally, you manage that business to a profitable outcome. Now, in the story of the talents found in Matthew 25, there were three servants. One was given one talent, one was given two, and one was given five. Now, we can look at that talent in the way that we understand talent today, where there's, uh, we are in, you know, we're, each of us are born with unique gifts and talents and passions that we naturally seem to excel at and we have a preference for over something else. But back in Bible days, talent also referenced money, okay? It was a literal name for money at the time. Whichever way you go, we're coming right back to the same thing because some of us are going to die and be put in the grave and go back to heaven the same way God made us. We have done nothing with that talent that's put in us. And in that Bible story, in the parable, that, that servant was titled a wicked and lazy servant there was an expectation from the master that, that at the very least they should have put that talent in the bank where it would have earned an interest and that has become the basis of my whole business guys I, there is a, a mandate that I believe for us to be profitable stewards not simply to bury and recycle that thing and bring it back exactly as it was it, we are intended to do something with that talent and return uh, an addition to what was bestowed on us because we do not want to be lab labeled wicked and lazy servant. Now the other two, one made, got two, made two, one got five, made five. Very interesting and I have a whole series because of course the Bible doesn't tell us what they did with the two to make two more or what they did with the five to make five more so i have another set of videos in a series which i'll put a link to here if you want to explore that conversation but my point here is that there is a mandate on us as christians i am not speaking to the secular person if you do not have this foundation of faith this is not for you any more than if you're an american that you should expect to be under swedish law okay this is for the christian if you're a christian though this does apply to you we have a mandate to be profitable stewards we are expected that if we get two to put something more on top of it the two the one who got two return two more the one who got five return five more and on top of it when that one was taken away from the one who did nothing with it was given to the one who had five with the concept that he who has much will receive even more and it so the bible almost doesn't even the bible the god is not set up in a socialistic mechanism in heaven okay guys because if you look at it there's no attempt anywhere in the bible for any sense of fairness across the board okay the one was given one one was given two one was given five there was no equitable distribution there but yet each was expected to return a profit on what was entrusted to them you are entrusted with something you have talents abilities money time resources family exposures experiences and they all come to you for a reason, a reason which you are required, mandated, I truly believe this, to make some good out of. So, I, below is going to be a link to a course, depending on where you, when you find this video, it may be in development because I will release the course uh, uh, sections as they are uh, created or you may be finding it when it is completed. Either which way, this is one P 
piece of a bigger puzzle. So below this video will be a couple links for you or maybe I'll have them somewhere on this video page that you can begin to check out some resources on how you, if you are a Christian, can become a profitable student. I truly believe that this is this is the whole point, guys. We don't need to wait for heaven to enjoy the, the abundance that God has in store for us. He has already equipped us with our own way here on earth to enjoy some of that abundance. We're supposed to take what he has given us and make more. Make more means abundance. Have more than what you started with. That is the whole nature of abundance, okay? So you have to take what you have and do something to create more, which means you are, we are here on earth to put ourselves in a better situation using what God has already entrusted us with. Are you doing that? If not, I'm gonna encourage you and invite you to start right now. Trudy Behrman here. If this is of any value to you, I'm gonna ask you to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, I have over 500 videos and many more like this will come. I am super simple to find at TrudyBearman.com and I look forward to connecting with you.